Hey everybody, I'm Monica McKenzie, joined by Patrick Strawn to preview the women's D1 hockey games coming up this weekend. So they've been doing a great job so far this season. Currently riding a 15 game win streak. They've yeah. been ranked first or second all year long. What is the team doing right so far? I think what the biggest thing that the team's doing right is honestly they're buying into the new system of the head coach and Chris Lowe's and also the good continuity and even more so community scoring that the team's having. Like every night it seems like there's a new star out there really kind of taking the helm as far as all the scoring it. And also this team's been scoring in bunches. I mean they're honestly literally putting themselves separated in tight games, not only in games against teams that they know they should be, but more importantly in those good games. Like recently they just took out AJ who took pretty put a whopping on the number one team in Miami, Ohio, or sorry, former number one team in defending champions, and they took it to them in their one game that they played against them. Mm -hmm. And that was potentially could be a preview of the national championship. So I think that's been a huge thing. And as I said, again, the community scoring, that's been a huge factor for this team this season as it looks like there's a different star out there every night. Yeah, absolutely. And you mentioned head coach Chris Lowe's. How have you seen him change things up so far this year? Well, I think the biggest factor is like obviously he's shaking up the lines because when you lose some of the top dynamic playmakers that they were able to have last year, you know, your All-American Kerry Jickling and also even Catherine Burrell, I think when you lose two caliber highest scoring players in those two, it's kind of hard where you're going to get your offense because they were a good part of the offense mm -hmm. last year. And he's found a way to not only find scoring from line one, but it trickles all the way down from one, two, three, and four. And even also the defensive lines are contributing. And I mean, that's headlined by All-American and CJ Tipping. But at the same time, there's been games he hasn't been playing and they're still finding scoring on the back end. And even more so, you're getting solid play from your goaltending. So I think it's a lot of just the little things are helping with with, and as I said a minute ago, they're buying into the new system, mm -hmm. um, and that's really been helping the team really kind of pave the way for why not only they've had such a good streak, but even more so why they're number one in the country. Yeah, absolutely. And you mentioned they don't have necessarily a big superstar. They have a wide variety of skills. So how is this team different from teams that you've seen in the past year at Liberty? Well, I think it's different in a way because every night, as I just said, there's some girl that seems to be stepping out. I think there are different girls that you can name. I think Courtney Gilmore, obviously one of the best of this team, but also Vanessa DeMercher, Lauren McDonald, obviously mm -hmm. we always say her name when we're on the broadcast, but even Annette, Nadia Rupoli, Kelly Hutton, they've been huge for the team. CJ Tipping on the back and Shannon Fair is one of the new girls on the team and just so many other girls that really have been kind of doing a solid job with this team. And obviously the community scoring has been obviously the biggest factor, I think, because when you're getting especially scoring from lines three and four and the way and the caliber that they've been able to score this past year, mm -hmm. it kind of just does good things, especially in those tight games, which really are going to be at nationals. And even more importantly, they played a lot of games on the road. And I think that's yeah. when a huge difference this coming season, because where's nationals going to be? It's going to be on the road. So the world to a championship is literally going to be on the road. So I think that's been huge for them. And they're kind of buying into that road warrior mentality. Mm -hmm. Well, 11th ranked Grand Valley is in town this weekend. What are you expecting for those games? Well, I expect I expect that the Flames would be able to continue the win streak. But at the same time, Grand Valley is going to look to break that streak because right now the Flames do have a big target on their back because not only they're going to get the best from everyone, but even more so, everyone's going to be thinking, how can we break this streak? And it's not too long ago that the Flames were riding a similar streak a couple of years ago where they rode all the way to number one, finished the regular season undefeated, mm -hmm. and then what happened? They get to a national tournament and lose in the semifinals. And I think, honestly, the Flames want to kind of continue with not only the streak, but even more so get there. And honestly, if you get a loss now before your midway point in Thanksgiving break, it's not going to end your season. Obviously, it's just going to be one of those things like, all right, what do we need to change? And maybe even humble the girls. But I don't expect that to happen this weekend. I think they're going to be able to continue on and make it not just 15 games, but 17 in a row. Yeah, absolutely. Things are definitely going right for them so far. We'll be sure to catch the games on the Liberty Flames Sports Network this weekend. For Patrick Strawn, I'm Monica McKenzie. Thanks for watching.